What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to fix the account storage full warning on Google Drive. Now you can receive this warning at different intervals. Now I actually received the account storage full warning at 99% when I tried to upload all my music to Google Drive because I thought it might be a good idea to actually have it there so it's not only stored locally on my device in case something happens to my device. Uh, uh, but that apparently was a bad idea. So I actually went ahead and removed all that music again. And then I got the account storage full warning at 50% again. So you can see this doesn't only happen when you get close to maxing it out. It could happen at even 50%. Now, by default, Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of storage and more can be purchased at different tiers. Now, maybe you're looking to save money or you think you can declutter or you're just looking to get rid of that annoying message. And that's what this video is for. Now, freeing up space can be done on an Android device like a smartphone or a tablet. But I'm going to be doing this on a computer through a web browser since I think this is the most efficient way. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are at my Google Drive in a web browser, and I've also provided a link to this website in the description below, so you can click on it and follow along. Now you can see once in Google Drive, we have a search bar at the top here, and if we click on that, that allows us to search for files by type. Now that being said, I recommend searching in a file type that you suspect has large files that you may want to delete. For example, photo and images or videos. Now in my situation, I had a bunch of MP3s. You can see that doesn't show up here. We don't have music. But if I hadn't deleted them, I could actually do a search for them by doing .mp3 and then hit an enter. And then if I had MP3s here, they would actually show up. Now, because I deleted the MP3 files, I'll have to use a different file type to do the demonstration for this video. So we're going to go to videos. Now you can see we get a new page here that shows all the videos I have. Now I'm going to select the first video in this list to demonstrate how to delete it. I'm going to move my selfie camera first here though because we're going to have a toolbar pop up as soon as I click on it. And there we go. I'm going to use the mouse pointer here. You can see we've got the toolbar here. It has a few different tools for us to use in regards to that file. Now let's say that we wanted to delete multiple videos here. We can use the shortcut shift and down arrow. And you can see as we click this, it's going to highlight more items. Now, if we don't want to delete all these items, we can go the opposite way with another shortcut, again, using shift and up arrow. And that is going to deselect or de-highlight those items. Now, once we've selected our file or files that we would like to delete, we can then go to the trash icon and click on that. And then we'll get a confirmation message here, file moved to trash. However, this item isn't actually deleted yet. It's just moved to the trash. So we actually have to permanently delete it if we want to make space. So we can get started on that by going to trash here on the left side. It's in the side menu here. I'm going to move the camera again and we're going to click on trash and you can see that that one file that we clicked to delete it actually is in the trash now uh, before we actually delete it though uh, we might want to restore it maybe we accidentally uh, put it in the trash and we can do that as well we can click on it and then again we're going to have the little toolbar over here you can see we've got this icon it looks like a clock with a backwards arrow it's like we're going back in time so if we click on that you could see uh, the item was restored and we can click on show file location and there it is again now if we want to actually delete this permanently we're going to repeat the same step that we had here I'm going to click on it and then we're going to click on trash can and then you can see that the file was moved to the trash again so we're going to go to the trash and now we can click on this item and we can do empty trash and then you get this warning here all items in the trash will be deleted forever and you won't be able to restore them so make sure that if you get to this point 
and you are going to delete this this is going to be gone forever so this is this is the real commitment now this is you're making the jump so we're going to tap delete forever and then you can see no items are in the trash. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support the content is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the content is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon check in out.